on your thumb. When it's braided, you got a cantaloupe. <laughs> if you was to ever be a boy and get your hair lined up, your shit would look fucked up. No, it wouldn't. Your that hairline would look fucked. Like, they have to push your shit back for it to make sense. What? Oh, I don't like my hair like this. Wait, stop recording me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I was a boy, I would be a cute boy. But your hairline would be fucked up. You would have to have long hair. Look at the look at the man. <laughs> you about to buy her some hats. I might get her some lashes. I don't ever know which kind of lashes to buy, so I don't even go in that department. <laughs> yeah, here they go. Man. This is the picture stuff. Excuse me, do you have a face mask? Do either of you have a face mask? You got one for us? I don't even got my wallet. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. They wasn't lying when they put that heart right there on your chest. At all. No. No, bro, I think. What you try to say on me? <laughs> he said they last forever. That's the same thing I said. They last forever. That's I'm broke for real. That's why you got to get the little flower pots. <laughs> Simple fit, simple fit. I got the, about to rob you shoes on. The nice, nice all black forces. Um, I've had these like cargo pants for a while. I used to work in a place where you couldn't have metal and I had like a metal button right here. So I had to cut the metal buttons off. So that's why I look like that. But yeah, I got this shirt from the thrift store. It's like the same thing on the back. I fought with it. Got the, Gold chain on, match the bracelet with the ring, you know. It's like step, you know, with the earrings on. You know? And I always got a black do rag. I have different color do rag, but I just mainly wear the black one just because it goes with everything. <laughs> but I'm in the uh, room waiting to see my surgeon so I can give him that nice paperwork right there, you know what I mean? And, well. Tell y'all what happens. I'm out. Well, I'm not out, but I'll see y'all in a minute. Like, So, I thought it was gonna be a quick appointment, but 
as I expected, we're gonna have to get updated pictures of my chest because the last time I've been here, it was two years ago. So we have to basically do the whole process that I did the first time, which was taking pictures, updating my insurance, and then we'll send the information over to my insurance people. And last time I was here, I was looking to get keyhole surgery, but he suggested double incision. But I'm gonna try to go for peri areola, and I'll explain that a little bit later with um, type of surgery that is. But I think that one is a good option for me as well. But the surgeon knows more than me. He knows how to construct it and stuff like that. So I had to take more updated pictures. I looked at my old pictures. They look literally looks the same. I just only have tattoos. That's the only freaking thing. But the good thing is the first time we were talking about I had to get double incision, which is the cuts, both cuts underneath the breast. Now, this time I'm able to get. So I guess it's not the same photo. I guess there is a difference. This time I'm able to get the peri areola, which is just the small cut underneath my areola. So it's less scars. So I'm very, 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 very excited for that. Like, I don't have to have those. I, there's, there's nothing against the double incision, but everybody likes less minimal scar. And I'm able to get that. So I'm very excited. So he said, he read over my letter. So he, he says, I should be up. Uh, I should get approved, which is probably going to take two to three weeks before I hear back if I got approved or not. And they're going to know before I get it. Like, they're going to know before I do because they're going to have to send me a letter to tell me that I'm approved. But as soon as they hear back, then they'll call me and then we'll set up the appointment. So, looks like this year your boy might get surgery. But that's if I get approved. So, but, yeah, that's it. <laughs> What's up you guys i'm finally home in a city i reside in if you didn't know i have to travel to go see my surgeon and my doctor that prescribes me my testosterone please excuse my hair i have not brushed my hair in a long time i just been wearing my do-rag but yeah i have a major major headache but had to come close the video out for y'all hope y'all enjoyed my first vlog Make sure you like and subscribe and stay tapped in because there's more to come. Before I let y'all go, did y'all subscribe? Did you like the video? Go ahead. Go ahead. I just want to leave. God protect me. I'm a young black.